Hi there, welcome back to another video. We are going to show you some of the more advanced features of DJ Studio. Manually adjusting the volume bar is one of those features. This gives you a more personalized transition. When you press on the top of the transition bar, the transition effect bar will appear underneath the timeline where there's a variety of different effects that you can choose from. If you want to record automations, uh, you can do so by pressing the red record button in the middle. The S button gives you the option to solo the record, including effects. By selecting the recorded automation and pressing backspace, you will delete the created automation. If you press command and backspace, it deletes all the automation that you've made. So lastly, we're going to run through some of the other DJ Studio effects that they have in the software, uh, including bass swap and uh, the effect out loop function. Clicking the swap button here, you can choose where the swap will take place. It will do that in the middle of the track and you can adjust the moment by clicking it. By clicking the loop, on the effect out button uh, it automatically creates an x faded loop at the end of your bar um, so it doesn't clip in your mix and it makes a seamless and perfect loop at the end of the track now that you've learned all the advanced features dj studio has to offer you are now ready to start mixing thank you for watching